I was raised Muslim, so um, the earliest recollections of um, conversations about sexuality were no sex before marriage. Um, um, there were conversations about why a woman wore hijab covering her body because men could be attracted to different parts of the body, uh, which I didn't understand as a kid, but I understand as an adult, um, uh, which is funny because uh, parts of women that I think could be sexy, like the nape of the neck, which is a little, the kitchen part, mm -hmm. you know, right there, <laughs> or like a foot, mm -hmm. you know, or you know, little things that I think I didn't think about as a kid, but not the, the, the conversations didn't happen the way I have them with my own children. Uh -huh. I think there was a lot more, um, I just think people weren't as transparent about the realities. You know, you're told not to have sex, but the reality is I got kicked out the house at 16 because my father caught me in bed with a girl. She wasn't even my girlfriend, she was a girl I was trying to have some fun with. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, horny enough to try to have sex with her with my father downstairs. <laughs> so he came upstairs and opened the door and just, you know, we were in the middle of it, and um, he told me to pack all my stuff and leave. So I left home at 16 with um, $12 in my pocket, a guitar, my book bag, and my BMX bike because of sex. Wow.